I'm Little Miss Chicken Ear, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a regular chicken water into the best, cleanest, um, easiest way to water baby chicks or adult chickens. So let's get started. And the first thing you guys are going to need is some poultry nipples. These um, are from Harris Farms. I think they're pretty standard, but... Um, the back of the package says to use a 3 8 drill bit when you're screwing the poultry nipples in. I have used a 3 8 before, but I feel like that leaves room for it to leak pretty easily. So the next size drill bit down is a 5 16 I believe. I've done this once or twice. So uh, this is a 5 16 drill bit. It's a tad smaller than a 3 8 and I'll show you how that tightness um, really helps with not leaking. So let's get started with the drilling. I don't need the bottom right now. So the what you're gonna do is you're just, eventually these nipples are going to be screwed into the bottom of this jar. I usually just put two in each of these small jars. If you have a larger waterer, then you can put three or even four if you want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to, there's kind of a little, I don't know if you can see it. There's a line on this thing. I'm just going to put one here and one right here. So this again is a 5 16 drill bit. Just like that. And I'm probably gonna have to modify that a tiny little bit because at first glance, it's gonna seem like this is not gonna wanna fit. But again, um, I like it to be as tight as possible because that helps with leakage. So let me go ahead and put my other one in and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so using the one size smaller drill bit does make the hole pretty tight and it's really hard to get this started unless the um unless it's slightly larger than the 5 16 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the drill bit put it in and i'm just going to kind of rotate it around that hole just to make it slightly slightly um, larger and that will help get the nipple started with the threading I have one of the nipples completely screwed in. Um, they're very difficult to get in using the smaller drill bit, but I just feel like using the smaller drill bit size is very important if you don't wanna have to deal with a leaky waterer. Because whenever I've used the size that's recommended, the 3 8 um, it's just too big of a hole and then you don't get a tight seal with the nipple. Now the nipple does have this little washer around it, which is helpful with um, leakage, but <clears throat> I, like I said, you can try the 3 8 drill bit if you want, but I just feel like doing the 5 16 and then working it until you can get the threading started is just a really way and really good secure way to do it. So that's just my two cents on it. So I'll show you again. This is a 5 16 hole. It's pretty tight so I'm going to put my drill bit in and I'm going to very carefully just slightly make it a little larger and then just see if I can get this started <clears throat> okay oh man I almost had it that time Okay, there it goes. <clears throat> it's very tight, but that's the way you want it so you don't have leakage. Let me go ahead and finish doing this. Okay, this was literally such a tight fit that I had to go get pliers in order to finish tightening it, but that's okay. It's worth the extra effort because the first couple times I used the poultry nipples, I didn't realize that um, you know, having a hole too big would cause leakage. And so, and of course you wanna tighten it until it's tight, but of course you don't want it to strip. 
So I think that's good. Anyways, um, what I had to deal with was when I used the 3 8 drill bit and screwed them in, it was just barely tight. And so then I it was starting to leak and drip. And so then I had to mess with trying to put silicone around the seal and extra plumber's tape and all kinds of stuff. And I just thought, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to use a smaller drill bit. So that is why I went through all the effort to do that. And we'll, let's go fill it up and I'll show you. Okay, let's do our first fill up and see if we have any leaks. Okay, and I do not see, I see I spilled a little bit of water right here, but I don't see it leaking. Um, the way the poultry nipples work is the bird will tap on the edge or they will tap up and down. Basically, as soon as their beak hits it, they'll get some drops. And then it may drip once or twice after that, but it will uh, stop itself. And so it's just a great way to keep your birds from wasting water, from getting them to splash it all over the inside of their brooder, um, which really is not good for their health. Um, the dry bedding is really important. And also, um, of course, it keeps the water very, very clean by doing this. So let me just show you a couple other things real quick. I'm gonna dump this out so I can have two free hands. Um, I highly recommend if you have baby chicks, getting something that has electrolytes that you can add into their water. I really like this because it has vitamins, electrolytes, and a little bit of probiotics. So um, a little of this goes a very long way. Here's the ingredients if you wanna pause the video and look at them. And um, it says a third teaspoon for a whole gallon. So I literally just open it up. It's powder, that's another thing I like about it. I just open it up and take a pinch and drop it in this little quart jar every time I fill it up for them. By the way, for about 20 birds, I only had to fill this up once a day for 20 birds in a brooder. Um, I was fostering some birds for some friends and they just took their birds. And so now I only have six in my brooder. I'll probably only have to fill this up about once every two to three days, which is really nice and it stays clean. Okay, and lastly, I wanted to show you how you finish this project off. So uh, normally what I do when I buy a brand new one of these, this is just, you know, to clarify, the fount usually sits on the ground like this. And see, there's that little hole right there. The water goes down, fills up this little trench. And in theory, that's great. But if you have chickens, they will kick all the bedding into it, they will stand in it, they'll poop in it, and it just gets dirty and nasty. So that's the whole point of doing this project so that you can keep the water off of the ground, keep them from pooping in it and getting the water contaminated and dirty, and just have a, a constant clean source of water that you do not have to um, replace very often. So how do you get it to hang? Well, the easiest way that I have found is this just by adding a, a hook through the top of this. Again, I'll use a really small drill bit and I won't demonstrate that now because I actually have um, a couple lids already. So this is just a, um, this is actually a pretty large hook. This is actually probably too big, but I mean, it works just fine. So this is just a hook. This is actually a self tapping hook. And then I just added a washer and a nut at the bottom just so that it won't make itself come out. And that's all you need. You just attach this like this. And then you just hang it from whatever, wherever you want. And of course, when you're hanging the height, you wanna make sure that the birds, you don't want this directly in front of their faces because they tend to need to lift their head up to drink properly. So you want this about um, two inches above their head so that when they lift up their beak, they'll be able to drink it properly. And I'll demonstrate that now. Okay, you guys, I am so impressed with these sweet little olive acres. They are two days old. I literally walked out, hung this up for the first time ever because I had to make a second one because I'm keeping them separate from my four-week-olds that you 
here in the background. Hung this up, tapped the nipple like two times and their little curiosity um, got them started. And as soon as they figured out water was coming out of it, they took right to it. And then, you know, once one starts doing it with chickens, once one of them figures something out, they'll all figure it out because they have FOMO. They all have fear of missing out. So they will all take to it. It's really awesome to see them. I've never seen chickens take to a nipple water so fast. So I'm really excited about that. All right, so here it is in action. I've got it on a chain. That way, as they grow, I can just keep raising it up a link and I don't have to like retie knots in a string or anything like that. Um, and also while I've got you here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this bedding. So this is industrial hemp. This is, I'm a big fan of industrial hemp because it's super absorbent and um, it's all about, uh, because of that super absorbency, you do not have to worry about the chickens getting sick because you didn't change out their bedding or because they pooped in it too much. It absorbs and dries up the poop very quickly. And let me just show you. This is a two by four um, trough. And these chickens have been in it for almost four weeks. And I have about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of industrial hemp in the bottom. And I've not changed that bedding one time. And there, at one time there were 20 chickens, 20 chicks for several weeks in this bedding and there's no smell. All I do once a day is I come in and I just rake it around and the hemp absorbs the smell and absorbs any moisture. And of course there you can see the other, my older nipple water in action right now. So. Um, this is really truly, in my opinion, the easiest way to have chicks, to have clean water, to uh, make sure it doesn't run out because they splashed in it and spilled it in a dish or, you know, something like that. Um, so I, I highly recommend taking, like I said, five, maybe 10 minutes to add some nipples and a hook to the waters that you already have and then to ensure that your sweet little babies um, have the best possible chance at survival. So I hope this video helped. Uh, please like and share it and um, please go to my page, Little Miss Chicken Ear, and follow that as well. And I'll try to post more helpful videos.